What's happening, good people? What's up? How you doing? It's uh, been a while, but I'm back at the park, you know, riding my bike as usual, getting some exercise and uh, trying to spend some time with the Lord here. But just thought I'd hop in and uh, see what you guys been up to and uh, kind of just talk about a couple things. And first, I just uh, just want to say just stuff has been crazy. It's been crazy storms here in Michigan. I was I was without power for about four days, almost five days. So, you know, just been working full time. Um, I'm a single mom, taking care of my three year old. So, just haven't really had much time to sit down and record anything or edit any videos or whatever. But you better believe I've been watching. I've been watching, and. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's been crazy out there. Um, how about that whole FDA approval thing? You know, how y'all feel about that? I feel like that's just opening the doors for the mandates. And um, it's possible that they didn't actually approve it. They probably just extended the emergency use youth use authorization. But the thing is, is that they are saying it's approved that's that's the that's the issue that's my concern you know um the private sector is gonna it's gonna take it and run with it because ultimately can't stop prophecy i mean it is what it is so all we can do is uh choose a side at this point because i truly believe what we're dealing with is about much more than medical freedom i mean medical freedom don't get me wrong is most certainly important but I feel like what's happening here is a, it goes a bit deeper than that um, as I was talking with a few, a few friends earlier I thought I recorded in a video that um, I was thinking about the roots of all of this stuff of this uh, convid situation that we're dealing with I feel like we're dealing with something something completely supernatural something that's being influenced by the spirit realm um, as us Christians understand that Satan is the god of this world for a time, for a season, for now. And what's happening is he's battling for our souls. I mean, he doesn't want to go to hell by himself. He's trying to take as many people with him as he can. So when we think about Convid, uh, Rishi from Boston did a lot of work on CERN and talked about how they opened a portal in December 2019, how CERN was fully powered up. December 2019 is also the same month where, allegedly, the first case of COVID was diagnosed. There was also an eclipse over China in December 2019 that formed a smiley face. So, uh, if you've been seeing the smiley face pop up a lot, that's why. That's why the celebrities were singing Smile during the Together at Home uh, promotion thing they were doing, you know, just promoting all this communism and wanting everybody to stay at home, be afraid, and shaking your boots, <laughs> wear your mask at home, you know, get the stabby stab. But yeah, I'm just sitting here thinking about all this stuff, and I just feel like I'm grateful. You know, I just want to say I'm so grateful to the Most High. I'm thankful for Jesus Christ for saving me. I'm thankful for eyes to see and ears to hear because it's most important right now. Um, you know. Oh, if you notice my minion shirt, <laughs> I like to work out in the shirt. I don't know why, but with the all-seeing eye here, and it's funny. These little things are called minions. You know, when I think of fallen angels, I think of like the devil's minions. It's crazy. I've never actually seen this movie, but I just like working out in this top. I don't know why. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> so for me being grateful, I just want to share a verse, a little bit of scripture with you guys today, since I was just sitting here reading. I like to come to the park and bask in the Most High's beautiful creation, especially when the sun is out. But um, I was just going to share with you 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 16. It says, Yet if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on his behalf. I glorify the Lord. I'm thankful to have uh, 
learned about his grace, goodness, and mercy. You know, I am a sinner. And I acknowledge that and understand that I do need a savior. And I'm grateful for him. I'm grateful for that. And I try to seek his face daily. I try. So, yeah. But apart from all that, yeah. So I'm just glad to be recording again. Um, I think I'm going to read a few articles in my next video and talk about kind of what's going on. There's a bunch of bugs all over this table. Yeah, I'm going to make this video quick for one of these bugs crawling my bag. But, uh, yeah. So, another thought I was uh, just pondering on while I was sitting here. You ever think about how time works differently for the Most High? About how one day to the Most High is a thousand years on Earth? And how the Earth, well, the time of man is only going to be a few thousand years? Like, you know, have you ever sat and thought about the dynamics of that? Like, the Most High is up in heaven like, hmm, it's been, been three days already? Oh, it's time for me to go back down, go down there, save my people. And it's been thousands of years for us. Like, this is just crazy. And I kind of I kind of feel like us as humanity, we're stuck in some kind of time portal. And what I mean by that is we're stuck in time. The Bible tells us, you know, the, the path to salvation is a narrow one. You know, wide is the path of destruction. So there's many ways, many paths you can take to miss out on salvation but there's only one narrow path to salvation through the narrow gate and that's the point of life is for us to find our way back to the most high that's the point but with this whole time thing i kind of look at it like how we're born in sin i like to think of that as how we're stuck in this time prison because time is completely different to the most high time is completely different to the angels and as well i think that go for the fallen angels as well too because have you ever thought about, have you ever asked yourself, how come all the movies, music, cartoons, video games, you know, have you ever asked, like, how come they can't come up with anything new? Why are they just remaking all the same stuff? Because we're stuck in a time portal. It's going to go over and over and over again until the Most High comes back, until Jesus returns. So just, just think about it. For example... Godzilla, King Kong. How many times have they remade those movies? Uh, Night of the Living Dead. Uh, the Resident Evil games. They just make them over and over and over again. Think about music. How many times have the same songs been sampled and made over and over again? Then think about stuff in entertainment like, for example, sports. Mike Tyson. You got Mike Tyson fighting again. I mean, he's, he's already fought, but I don't know. I think he does, you know, they were throwing around the idea of him fighting again, but still, same stuff happening over and over again. You know, uh, the Bible tells us there's nothing new under the sun. So I never just really just put all of this together. Like, I just always ask, how come they can't come out with an original horror movie or an original villain or it's the same stuff? How many times have the 007 movies been remade over and over again? Stuck in the time portal interesting yeah so gonna highlight this real quick about uh you know us being christians and being proud because i am <laughs> let me highlight this you know so there we go i like to highlight my stuff in purple in my bible uh for stuff that i really like feel stuff that really touches me and i like to use pink for like supporting scriptures and stuff like that but there's one other uh scripture i want to share with y'all i think i went a little too far let me see should have highlighted it These bugs are getting me. I'm going to hurry up. I get out of home. Do, 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 do. I love, I really like the book of Revelation. Um, I'm just starting to read it myself. It's 
Oh, such an enlightening book. It's so interesting. And as John was describing all the people he saw in heaven, he mentions the 12 tribes and all the 144,000. Let's see. 12,000 from each tribe. After he mentions the tribes, let's see. Revelation chapter 7, verse 9, specifically. After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations, and kindreds, and people, and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. The gospel is so simple. For those who believe, if you believe in your heart and you can confess with your mouth, with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, that you are a sinner, you'll be saved. And do your best to follow his commandments. Because the time is now, people. It's the point I'm trying to make. Oh, there goes that word again. Time is most certainly now. Not at the stabby stab. One of the stabby stabs has been approved. Mandates are going to flow across the board. Yeah, that's that. These bugs are getting to me. I kind of want to sit out here a little longer, but oh, I just cannot do it. <laughs> I need to figure it out if I'm going <laughs> to end up being in the wilderness one day I'm trying to tell you. I don't know. I, I just think about all this crazy stuff. Yeah, but let me get my bag. Yeah, I just want to come on here and uh, let you know I'm still breathing. I'm still here. Still fighting this great fight. I want everybody to stay strong in the Lord. Let's see, I almost forgot to put my water away. Hang on, guys. So, yeah. I would have stayed longer, but... I sprayed some essential oil on me, uh, just diluted in some water, some peppermint and eucalyptus oil to kind of discourage these bugs. So it really wasn't as bad as it was last time I was out here, but it's still annoying. But uh, how about you guys ride around the track with me for a minute? Let me flip my camera. Uh, there you go. Yep. So back at the park. I just love to ride my bike. Try to get as much exercise as I can. Get my body and mind right, spirit right, you know? Yep. I think I said this before, but the ride itself isn't usually too bad. It's just that my butt freaking hurts on this seat. And I'm wearing padded shorts, padded bike shorts, but they did make it easier, but still, my butt hurts after a while. <laughs> but yeah, oh, and one other thought about the time thing. I don't know if any of you guys ever seen, uh, you ever watched the show uh, Fringe? F-R-I-N-G-E. Kind of like a science fiction type deal it's pretty i mean a lot of the stuff we see on television is spiritual no matter how much they try to tell you it isn't it is they're mocking the bible and they're showing you things in, in your face you know covertly so fringe was kind of like a show that uh was all over the place with science stuff and one particular season or maybe it spanned across two seasons where they were uh it was taking place in parallel universes. The show was taking place in parallel universes simultaneously. So, at first I didn't understand it, but once I caught on to what the heck that show was talking about, it just kind of blew my mind, like, wow. So, my point. They had a group of characters in this show called The Observers. And The Observers was just a group of people that were kind of bland in their appearance, but they would always wear suits and top hats. And they were bald, they had no hair, and 
they were just kind of weird. They didn't really say much, but the main characters in the show started to discover them because they would just be standing in the background. Like, for example, with me riding this bike right now, yeah, an observer would be standing over there by that white house just watching me. So, and the observers would appear in old pictures. Like, they'll show pictures back on, like, plantations and stuff like that. And you'll see an observer standing in the background just staring, just watching. Hence the word observer. So, turns out, these things, at first, they were... They introduced their characters like they were harmless. They were just watching for whatever reason. It turns out they were trying to lead humanity into some kind of a apocalypse. And these observers viewed time differently. They existed outside of time. And they can travel uh, through any period in time. So... Me being spiritually open to these things, I kind of like to compare them to fallen angels. How fallen angels exist outside of time. And how there's a lot of movies that make time a huge deal and time travel. I don't think time travel works like how Hollywood says it does. Like you just hop into a machine and you type in your destination and you go. I think time travel has something to do with uh, the fact that fallen angels have been here from since the beginning. And they've been here and they've been traveling from person to person generation to generation watching and influencing because the observers did influence events in the human timeline so yeah I just thought that was a uh, pretty interesting just a pretty interesting thought crazy you know when you put all of this together back when I was actually watching the show I wasn't actually thinking about that, but now I like to go back and watch stuff I used to watch just to think about what it could have been about. It's crazy. <laughs> there's a table I left some stickers on. Last time I've been out here, it was still on there, but it's been raining pretty bad since then, so I don't know if they're still over there. Yeah. If I'm breathing pretty hard, I apologize. Uh, gotta get my blood pumping here. <sighs> but it's such a beautiful day. I really like this park. I actually haven't been on my rollerblades in a while. Maybe I'll do that next time. Bust my butt a few times. This has been whew, a long time since I was like extremely good at it. Since I haven't been rollerblading consistently I kind of got to find my niche again find my center of gravity <laughs> but it won't happen if I don't try right but uh look at this there's a baseball diamond over here I really should have recorded this in the other orientation what is that? I think it's landscape or am I in landscape or portrait? I don't know, but I should have recorded this the other way so you can see it, you know, in the other full way. But uh, I do stuff that's not so smart sometimes. Don't mind me. But if you're still here listening, I appreciate you. Just listening to my crazy thoughts. <laughs> I have no one else really to share them with outside of my older brother and uh, all of you guys. So. Yep, I think there's a game going on too. I might see it by, by the time I roll by. But yeah. Oh, and I also read an article today from CNN, Criminal News Network, that said we don't have the constitutional right to refuse to stabby stab. Can you believe that? I mean... Yeah, there's the game. But I can, though. I can believe it because ultimately this stuff is prophecy. I can't see nothing in front of me with this freaking sun. Hang on, guys. I gotta check and see. Make sure nobody's in front of me. I won't run right into them. <laughs> Alright, it's better. But yeah. 
Isn't that crazy? I should do a video on it. Wow, that dude had on some cologne. And it smelled pretty nice. Okay, I digress. <laughs> it's freaking, I think it's still 85 or something here. It's a really nice day. Had to get out and ride. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get off of here and towards the table where I was now. I've ridden around the whole track. Typically ride around this track and maybe three, four times. Yeah. Now I have to ride home. Yep, so just wanna say God bless you all. Keep fighting a good fight. As Jeff C would say, be the change you wanna see. Thanks for listening. And um, I'll be back shortly with another video. So, yeah. Time to get home and take a shower. <laughs> so, God bless you all. Thanks for listening. Edit. Have an epic opportunity right here to Culture Jam. Oh my goodness, check this out. <laughs> Here's this little <laughs> book box thing. Take a book, give a book. Here's some books in there. Oh, but I've got a message for you guys. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Let's go. Hang on. Sorry for the camera work. Bear with me. Stand by. Stand by. <laughs> <laughs> Epic. Okay.